I'm Dr. Rachel Dolan. I work in medical communications at the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. Today I'll be talking about the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. The diagnosis of Parkinson's is what we call clinical, which means that it's based on your medical history and your physical examination. There's no lab or imaging test that can make the diagnosis. For this reason, it's best to see a doctor called a movement disorder specialist. This is a neurologist who has specialized training in Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders. On your physical examination, the doctor will be looking for four specific things. The first is a resting tremor, which is a shaking on one side that occurs while you're not using your arm or your leg. The second is a stiffness or rigidity. The third is slowness or what we would call bradykinesia. And the fourth is walking or balance problems. You don't have to have all four of these to be diagnosed with Parkinson's, but usually at least two of the four are present. Even though no lab tests, no urine, blood, spinal fluid test, or imaging tests can make the diagnosis of Parkinson's, doctors do often order these tests in order to rule out other conditions that can look like Parkinson's disease. Many people have heard about a DAT scan and wonder if they should get this done. A DAT scan is a specialized imaging test of the brain that looks at the part that moves around the dopamine between the cells. Dopamine is the brain chemical that goes missing in Parkinson's. In and of itself, DAT scans can't make the diagnosis of Parkinson's. What we don't have in Parkinson's research and care is something called a biomarker. A biomarker is an objective measurement of disease that would allow us to diagnose and monitor the progression of Parkinson's disease. Examples of this in other conditions are measurements of glucose or sugar in diabetes and measurements of blood pressure as an indicator of heart disease. A biomarker in Parkinson's would help us to diagnose and monitor the progression of disease and would help researchers to develop and test new treatments. In 2010, the Michael J. Fox Foundation launched a large observational study called the Parkinson's Progression Markers Initiative, or PPMI for short, in order to find a biomarker of Parkinson's disease. Through this study, hundreds of people, both with and without Parkinson's, are contributing data through regular physical examinations and lab and imaging tests. By collecting all of this information and examining this data, we hope that we can find a biomarker that will help the millions of people with Parkinson's, their doctors, and the researchers who are trying to develop and test new treatments. You can learn more about this and other topics in Parkinson's by visiting our website.